Today we're going to do the taut line hitch or the midshipman's hitch. So today you're getting two knots for the price of one. And the main reason you're getting two knots for the price of one here is that the midshipman's knot or the midshipman's hitch and the taut line hitch are very, very similar knots. And this is a slipped version here, so that if I pull that, oh, hang on, before I do that, let's show you what it does, blimey. No good telling you about it if you don't know what the actual knot does. This is basically, it could be a ridge line for a tarpaulin, and as I tighten up on this here, it keeps my ridge line tensioned. But if I slide it the other way, as you can see, it's now very, very slack. And then once again, tighten up, pull it up nice and tight, and it will hold my ridge line fairly well. I'm using fairly hefty rope here, simply for the fact is, I want to show you the difference between the two knots because it's a very, very subtle difference, but it is worth knowing. So that is how the taut line hitch works. So just pull it up even tighter, and there you go. I've got a nice, tight, secure little ridge line in that section there. Okay, so let's undo this now. Right, so here we are again. I have got my cord, and basically what I've done is I have tied that end to my tree or whatever you're tying it to. And now on this end here, what I want to do is I want to tie my taut line hitch. The first one we're gonna do is the taut line hitch. And what I do is then pass my working end around the tree or whatever we're tying it to. And then there we have it. And so there is my working end going around the back of the tree and coming out this side here. The next thing I do is I pass the working end over the standing end like so, and we're forming a loop in here. And the next thing I do is pass my working end up through that loop, like so. And then what I do is I go round again for a second time, round over the standing end, up through the middle of that loop, whoops, and there you can see we've got two turns there side by side. Next thing I do is I take my cordage or my working end and I now pass it over the standing end like so, bring it round, I'm not slipping this one, and then locking it up tight. Pull it all nice and tight like so. And now what we've done here is we have our taut line hitch. And so now, when I put my hands on this knot and pull tightly, I will be able to just adjust the hitch to the distance I want, and that is now held in place. And I'm pulling really hard on this now, and it is not slipping at all. And so you can see, it's a great way of holding a ridge line. And so if, say for example, I want to slacken it off a bit, I just push on the back of the knot like so, and it slides along my ridge line. And if I want to tighten it again, I then just pull it up nice and tight at that point there. Okay? Okay, so let's show you for a second time tying the taut line hitch. So I take my working end and pass it around my tree. My standing end is already secured around the tree. And the next thing I do is I take the work end and pass it over my standing end like so. Then I bring it round underneath the standing end and pass it up through the middle, up through the middle there of that loop that I created. I then pass it over the standing end again, up through the center of that loop. So we now have two turns there, one, two, side by side, and then now I take it over the two turns, around the standing end like so, bring it round, and this time let's slip it, put a, sl put a bite in it, pass that bite through that loop there, and then just pull up tight like so. And now we have the taut line hitch, and if I pull, See, it's hard to show, there you go. If I pull it like so, that is now 
nice and tensioned and we have a slipped taut line hitch on here. So when I pull on this one, it will undo it. And so, you know, a fantastic little way of holding a ridge line for a tarp or a washing line, something like that. You know, whatever you want. Okay, let's undo this one now. So this one's slipped. Let's undo this one now and show you the midshipman's hitch. There's a very, very slight difference. These two knots are exactly the same, except for one slight dis difference. Okay, if you like these videos, please do thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment. Tell me why you liked it or hated it, and I promise I will reply to your comments. And also, the other thing is, if you think they're any good, please share these. Share these so other people can watch them. Okay, so once again, this end is tied to my tree, and I'm going to bring this end around my pole, or pretend tree, and just put a little bit of tension on it like so. The next thing I'm going to do is exactly the same as the taut line hitch with just this one difference coming up. Okay, so we pass it over our standing end like so, underneath our standing end, and up through that loop there. Right, now, I then pass the working end over again like so, bring it underneath, but this time, right, this is where the difference is. When we did it last time, we put it round at that point there. But what we're going to do is bring it back on the inside of itself. So I'm going to bring it round underneath and up inside. You see it's coming on the inside here and that is the difference. But this little difference here is great because it's starting to already lock our cordage in place as we've got to that point there and just it it just makes this knot a little bit you can see there I've got tension on there and even when I pull on this now it's not coming undone but to complete the midshipman's hitch all I do is take my working end underneath my standing end and let's do a slip on this one as well and put a bite in it pass that bite through that hole there and then just pull it up tight All right, so just gently tighten it up and there we have it we now have the midshipman's hitch and if I now I can do exactly the same with the midshipman's hitch as I pull up on this one here I can tension my cord and it's it's almost exactly the same except at this point here if I, let's take that out of the way Take that out of the way. At this point here, instead of that second loop going on that side, it's actually on the inside. And there we have it. That is the midshipman's hitch. So let's undo that again and just show you one more time. Okay, so we go round the tree with our cordage. We take the working end and we pass it over our standing end like so and then bring it up through that loop that we've created there. So there we go, we've brought it through the loop. Now, if we were doing the taut line hitch, we would go round again, but we would come up on that side of our loop. But instead, we're gonna come up in between these two here. So it's gonna come up in between those two there. So bring it round fish it out, there it is, and you can see now, as I bring it up, it's automatically crossing over in there, therefore giving us a little bit more friction on that knot. And as I bring that through, just tighten it up a bit, bring it through, it's already locking it in place, which just makes it a little bit more efficient than the taut line hitch. Then I pass my working end over my standing end like so, and then, put a bite in it, pass that bite through that loop that we've created there previously, pull it up nice and tight, and you can see now here that I can now adjust that accordingly. And as I pull on it, put a lot of st strain on there, that is not coming undone. But 
if I get my fingers here, I can slacken it off just by sliding it along the rope like so, or tighten it again, and then put that tension on. And you can see, there we go, that's a lot of tension on there, and that is not going anywhere, okay? And once again, it's fairly quick release, because just by pulling that, it comes undone. And so there you have it. That is the taut line hitch and the midshipman's hitch. And the only difference being is that when we go around once, like so, when we do it the second time, go around, we either come out on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. And if it comes out on the left-hand side, it's the taut line hitch. But if we come round so that we're actually crossing over, it's the midshipman's hitch. And that's basically the dif difference in them. Both very good knots for the ridge line, but just a very slight difference that you may, you may prefer the midshipman's hitch to the taut line hitch. Okay, so once again, thank you for watching. Please, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave me a comment, and please do share this video for me. Thank you very much then. Bye-bye, see you next time.